Uh, another uh, Bischoff question from Anthony. Uh, Eric Bischoff has made bad remarks about you on his website. What are your thoughts on him? And here is the quote. Uh, Go on. While I'm in my myth-busting frame of mind, I want to address a critique of my book that I found on another site. While the writer was generally complimentary, he did point out that there were some typos. The most serious one is a photo that identifies Sherry Martell as Missy Hyatt. Although I did not edit this book, Simon & Schuster did, I want to apologize to Sherry. I can't think of a bigger insult to Sherry than for someone to confuse her with Missy Hyatt. Mm. What's that all about? You know what? Eric Bishop is an asshole, and him and Jason, he came and stayed at my house in California when I was living with Jason because he was trying to pitch this game show for kids, and uh, Jason had like some place, I guess some, I don't know, stations or, t I don't know, production lined up, produc yeah, production companies lined up for him to go pitch us, and he comes in there and he had like drawn it, like, you know, it was like, I don't know. I mean, I paint and everything, and I was like, I was looking at this, and it was like a little kid cut out boards of where the little pr guy would stand, and it was like called Kids, kids Team Challenge or something. So anyway, but he flew in. I let him stay in my um, guest bedroom. I gave him my 63 Corvette to drive to go to, yeah, I know, I'm an idiot, because you know why? We were working together. Yeah, they put him on the sea show, the can can Canadian show with me, and I had to co-host it with him, and he was the drizzling shits. He couldn't, he couldn't, they would give you the 15 cue and then count down the 10. He, I mean, I'm just co-hosting it with him, and he's supposed to be doing the, the leads, and it was just over. I mean, I knew. It was like with Jim Ross and even Paul Lee. We were one take kind of people. We'd get in the studio, bam, cut that out. Tony Schiavone would give me this stuff. Bam, do that. Missy does the mail. Bam, do that. Eric Bischoff. Oh, God. Sit around all day because this friggin' jabroni can't even get it. So, anyway, I still, though, he was, even though he sucked, he was still an okay guy. And... I let him stay in my house, so obviously he was an okay guy. Then he, uh, Jason and I break up. He gets to become the boss. I even was like, "Oh, congratulations on becoming the boss and everything." You know, I was fine. You know, it hurt me. And then I were down at the, um, uh, I forget we were somewhere, and his wife was like, "Oh, Jason's there." Like, you know, I'm like, "What?" So, you know, like that, and I had no idea, like, Jason was in his ear the whole time. I didn't find this out until, like, years later. And then when he fired me and I got my check, it was supposed to be for my, um, the calendar and the hotline and all that other stuff. And the year before, it was, like, 38000 and this year it was for $33. Yeah, I was a little pissed, and so that's why I sued. And so my attorney was just like, you know, tell me all what happened. And I told him, and I told him about the boot thing. And I said, you know, I asked Bischoff, just all I asked is for them to get me the original and for to say I'm sorry. I didn't ask for a lot. I never did. And he's pissed because they called him in, and we had a private investigator check him out. And there was allegations that he molested a boy when he was teaching karate in Minneapolis, and he didn't want that out. And there was a lot of other um, things that our private investigator found out about him. And, um, you know, WCW or whatever settled, we did our thing. And, you know, he has to understand that that was just all uh, because I wanted my money that was owed to me. And you guys, you know, he was the boss at the time, and he's the one that you know, screwed me over because of Jason. Right. You know, if you don't want to be business and you want to do it, you know, for um, because your little friend Jason's going to get you into Hollywood, you know, then do it or whatever. I'm I'm still better off than that everything has happened to me. I mean, he has to look at his life and look in and, and live with his life. So, I just can't believe that my name would even want to be in his skanky book, you know. Well, uh, uh, a question from Brad at OnlineWorldOfWrestling.com. If you could say one thing to Eric Bischoff right now, take a look at that camera and do it. No. Um, he's, not, he's not worth it. <laughs>